Welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing the major step taken by the Philippine Coast Guard PCG, in enhancing its combat capability through the installation of the advanced 30mm RCWS weapon system. This step marks a new chapter in the transformation of the Philippine Maritime Force. The Philippines is an archipelago of over 7,600 islands, the world's fifth longest coastline, and a vast maritime territory stretching from the West Philippine Sea to the Pacific Ocean. This maritime territory is rich in natural resources and strategic trade routes, but it is also fraught with challenges. From territorial disputes, increasing illegal fishing activities, drug smuggling, to threats from foreign vessels trespassing, the country needs a reliable and assertive maritime presence. It is in this context that the Philippine Coast Guard PCG, plays the role of the spearhead in defending the country's maritime sovereignty. However, for years, the PCG has operated under significant constraints in terms of budget, infrastructure, and weaponry capabilities. Many of its large ships, including the Magba Nua class and flagships like the BRP Gabriela Salong, are deployed without modern primary weapons. In situations of conflict or critical operations, this becomes a strategic weakness. Although these ships are designed for long-term patrols, humanitarian missions, and law enforcement, they are not equipped with adequate combat systems to deal with complex threats on the open sea. The government has finally taken a significant step by approving a budget allocation of P406 million to enhance the PCG's combat capabilities, including the procurement of advanced weapon systems. About P30 million of the budget will be used specifically to install 30 mm Remote Controlled Weapon Stations RCWS, on several major ships. This is not just an addition of weapons, it is a paradigm shift. From a limited and high-risk manual system, the PCG is now moving to an integrated system that allows for safe and accurate operations from within the ship. RCWS is a technology that has been widely used by modern navies around the world, and the version that the PCG will use is a 30mm system from Turkish defense company Asilson. This system offers full stabilization, automatic target tracking, thermal and optical cameras, and the ability to fire up to 200 rounds per minute. Unlike manual heavy machine guns, RCWS can be operated from within the command room with a screen and joystick without exposing the operator to extreme weather or direct threats. This not only increases effectiveness, but also the safety of the ship's crew. Four ships are the initial priority for RCWS deployment, two Magbanua class vessels, the BRP Gabriela Silang, and possibly one 60-meter multi-role vessel, MRV, still under construction. The placement is strategic. The Magbanua class vessels, at 97 meters long, are the largest ships in the PCG fleet, and are designed for long and complex operations. The BRP Gabriela Salong, on the other hand, was known as the most advanced patrol vessel in Southeast Asia when it was commissioned. However, like the Mag Banua, it has been without a main gun since delivery, making the RCWS a critical addition. The presence of RCWS on these ships will fill the gap in main weapon platforms that has long been a criticism of the PCG's fleet development. Many have argued that the Philippines' large ships are lopsided. They have sophisticated radar and navigation systems, but are armed with only a manually operated 12.7mm machine gun. With RCWS, these ships will finally have firepower commensurate with their size, significantly enhancing their combat profile and law enforcement capabilities. But the upgrade is not all about guns. RCWS brings a major improvement in situational awareness in the theater of operations. Thermal cameras and advanced sensors allow the crew to see further and more accurately, even at night or in bad weather conditions. In search and rescue operations, RCWS can help detect small boats or individuals in the water that are difficult to see with the naked eye. Its function becomes much broader than just a combat tool. It becomes a surveillance, early warning, and rapid detection system. In addition, the change from manual weapons to remote control systems means a fundamental change in the way the crew operates. In the past, operators had to stand on the open deck, 
sometimes in the rain, strong winds, or even under the threat of gunfire. Now, with RCWS, they can work from the safety of an enclosed space, with higher reaction speed and much more precise shooting accuracy. The system can also be directly integrated into the ship's combat control system, allowing for a coordinated response to threats. On a larger scale, the procurement of RCWS is part of PCG's long-term strategy to modernize its entire fleet. Over the past few years, PCG has ordered several new vessels, including 60-meter MRV vessels from domestic shipyards. They are also working with various friendly countries such as Japan, South Korea, and the United States for training, technology transfer, and hardware assistance. This modernization is being done gradually but consistently to make PCG a formidable and flexible multi-mission force. PCG's transformation is also in line with the increasingly intense geopolitical dynamics in the Southeast Asian region. Territorial disputes in the West Philippine Sea, the increasing operations of foreign vessels in national waters, and the presence of illegal fishing fleets on an industrial scale demand a more assertive response. In situations like this, the presence of modern armed PCG vessels is not just a law enforcement tool, but a form of maritime diplomacy. It is a statement that the Philippines is present in its region, ready to defend its sovereignty and uphold international law. However, it is important to remember that this upgrade is only one part of a long process. The challenges facing PCG will not be solved with four RCWS units. Thousands of kilometers of sea still need to be guarded, hundreds of fishing vessels need to be monitored, and various modern threats such as cross-border drug smuggling, digital piracy, and undersea border violations all demand adaptive and coordinated responses. Therefore, the PCG still needs improvements in various other sectors. Fleet expansion, the addition of satellite-based coastal surveillance systems, strengthening strategic headquarters and ports, and intensive training for personnel must be priorities. However, the initial steps taken through the RCWS are a very positive signal. It shows that the Philippine government understands the urgency of transformation and is willing to invest in long-term maritime security. The PCG's weapon upgrade also opens up new opportunities for international cooperation. By operating NATO standard RCWS systems and internationally compatible navigation systems, the Philippines can more easily join joint exercises, multinational operations, and cross-border humanitarian assistance missions. The presence of armed PCG vessels in international shipping lanes provides a sense of security not only for Filipinos, but also for the global shipping community. In conclusion, the procurement of 30mm RCWS for the Philippine Coast Guard's flagship is a smart and visionary strategic decision. It is not just about firepower or presence, but about how the Philippines positions itself amidst the rapidly changing maritime map of Southeast Asia. As an archipelagic nation, maritime security is national security, and a stronger PCG means a safer, more sovereign and more prepared Philippines to face global challenges.